Donna, well, this all started with a case here in Anne Arundel County a few years back. Police were trying to solve a rape investigation with a DNA sample, but ended up solving a burglary case instead. The ruling centered around a man named George Variali. Variali was a rape suspect in Anne Arundel County back in 2012. He gave investigators consent to test his DNA. As it turns out, his sample wasn't a match for that case, but it was for another case, a burglary that occurred four years earlier. We have tools to find criminal activity, and you know, using DNA is one of those tools. He retained his right to appeal. Variali and his attorneys argued that it was an unlawful search, that investigators shouldn't be able to use DNA taken for the purposes of one case and use it for another case without a warrant. And they argued that point all the way up to the state's highest court, the Court of Appeals, where the court ruled this week that police don't need a warrant to use DNA samples from one case for an unrelated investigation. The key, Anne Arundel County State's Attorney Wes Adams says, is the fact that Variali signed a consent form. Our Constitution protects you know, free law-abiding citizens with both either a search warrant or valid consent, or even in this case, there's a, an opt-out provision. He could have limited his, his consent. But he didn't. Variali's attorney didn't return our request for comments. One dissenting opinion in the ruling pointed out that Variali was a homeless person living in the woods at the time of the case and said, unless and until the public defender or private criminal defense attorneys open offices in the woods, the majority standard as applied in this case represents an unreasonable expectation of what a typical reasonable person in Variali's shoes would know to do. And now Barry Alley was sentenced to four years in prison for that upheld burglary conviction. We're live in Anne Arundel County tonight. Kyrie, WBAL, TV 11 News.